Welcome back to Live Lean TV. I'm Jessica Guthrow. Today I wanted to show you my favorite booty exercises that are great for people with bad knees. So if you have any knee pain, have a prior knee injury, you're gonna wanna stick around for this. Just because you have some knee pain or you had some kind of a knee injury doesn't mean that you can't train your booty. You just have to be a little more creative and focus on the right move. So I'm going to be using a stretch band today and also just a regular gym bench. You don't have to have either of these items. You could do all of these moves with no equipment at all. Or in place of the bench, you could use like a chair from your house. Just make sure it's a stable, sturdy one or use an exercise ball. Focus on the moves that don't put stress on the knee and there are actually quite a few of them. And these are moves I love to use even though I don't have any knee pain. That's okay, this video could be for anybody whether you have knee pain or not. I just get the question a lot, like what do I do if I have knee pain? So if that's you, this is what you do. So we're gonna start with hip thrusts because these are awesome for training the booty and by elevating your heels up on a bench, you take all the pressure off of the knees. So this should not bother your knees. So we're gonna start with this straight leg hip thrust. So you wanna place your heels at the edge of the bench and make sure there's enough space so your body can be fully straight. Place your hands down on the ground for a balance support and then just simply lift your hips off the ground and squeeze your glutes. Make sure not to over arch your back. You wanna keep your core tight and really just focus on tightening your glutes instead of lifting as high as you can. You can totally add weight to these. Sometimes I'll put a plate right on my lap and hold it with my hands like this to make it more challenging. Here I'm using a 25 pound plate, but you could also use a 10 pound plate or two 10 pound plates stacked or two 25 pound plates stacked. Um, but those are the most comfortable to sit on your hips right there. Now I'm gonna be changing position, scooting closer to the bench with my butt to go into the traditional bent knee hip thrust. So starting with your knees at a 90 degree angle, this gives you greater range of motion as you can go all the way down to the floor, then all the way up, squeeze your glutes tight at the top. Of course, you can also add weight to these as well just by doing the same thing and holding it on your lap. Not sure if you can tell from this camera angle, but my knees and feet are slightly turned out to be a little bit open, spread apart from each other. That helps you get a better glute flex. So you may wanna play with that kind of position or turn in, turn out to see what feels best for you. But you do wanna angle your knees just a little bit so you can get a good flex with your butt. Another variation to make these more challenging and just different is to put a stretch band right around your knees and I put it just above the kneecaps. And then as I go up to the top, I open the knees even wider to stretch the stretch band apart. This helps engage the muscles on the outsides of your glutes. So these are just some different variations you can try of the same move. There's lots of different types of hip thrusts and they're all great, especially if you have knee pain, but even if you don't have knee pain, hip thrust should be a staple in all of your booty workouts. Now moving on to the rear leg raises. This one's one of my ultimate favorites, although I probably say that about every exercise, but I love these because they really just isolate the glutes. You can see there's no pressure on the knees at all and you really just get to focus on flexing the glutes only. So you wanna lower your torso down onto the bench, making sure that the edge of the bench is right on your hip crease. Then bend your knees and put your heels and toes together. Make sure your knees are open, but your feet are tight together. Then you're gonna press your heels up towards the ceiling to flex your glutes. Glutes. Again, it's not about going super high with these, just lifting enough to where you get a glute flex. And to make these more challenging, of course, you can add weight as well. I'll usually hold a dumbbell in between my feet like this, squeezing the feet together on the dumbbell to make sure it stays in place and keeping the knees wide apart. And then just up and flex your glutes and then slowly lower down. These are awesome for that booty isolation work. I definitely recommend practicing this move without any added weight and then only add that dumbbell once you feel comfortable with the movement. Now we're gonna move on to some standing exercises that are not squats and not lunges. You're gonna loop that stretch band around your legs just above your kneecap, then hinge at the hips and lean forward, placing your elbows on the top of an incline bench. This is optional, you don't need to use the bench, but it just helps you balance so that you can focus more on your booty work and not on just staying upright. So sweeping one leg back, you're gonna stretch that stretch band apart and flex your glutes on both sides. You see the standing leg should stay slightly bent in that athletic stance and you 
actually are working on both glutes at the same time, even though this may seem like it's a one-sided exercise, you need to flex the muscles both in the standing leg and in the top leg. So repeat all reps on one side so you get a good burn in your booty, then switch sides and do the same number of reps on the other side. If you do want to advance this exercise and take it one level further, you can hold onto a plate like this, add some weight into the front, remove the bench, and actually move your whole body and go for like a one-legged toe touch with that weighted plate instead. So you still have the stretch band in the same place, but instead of doing a kickback, you're leaning forward as you lower down with control and then coming up and tightening at the top. Obviously this one does require more strength and balance than the other version. So just depending on your fitness level and how much experience you have, you may choose to stick with the first option. Now here's a couple of banded floor exercises that anyone could do at any fitness level. This one is the banded clamshell. So you wanna loop that band around your knees above the kneecaps. Lay down on the floor with your knees bent and put your feet together. So stacking your feet on top of each other and your knees. Then you're gonna open up your knees to stretch that stretch band and flex your glutes to the back. Hold your hands behind your head for support and just really focus on that isolation of the glute muscles. Another great one you can do with the band in the same position around your knees is to get into a crab position like this. So that kind of means like an upside down plank with your hands supporting you underneath your shoulders and then your feet together. You're gonna lift your hips up into the air, kind of like a hip thrust, and then open that band to flex your glutes at the top. So this one is really important that you focus on the flexing and make sure that you keep your hips elevated throughout the whole movement. So that's what's really gonna get your glutes instead of just working your legs or core muscles. Your booty is gonna seriously feel like 10 times perkier after you do these moves. Like, you, the pump is real. The pump is so real. If you liked seeing these creative moves that you can do to work your butt without hurting your knees, then you're gonna love what I have coming next. I have an entire program focused on booty training because it's my favorite body part to train and I know every woman wants a nice butt. Program's not ready yet, but it will be next week. I'm so excited to announce the launch, but you gotta stay tuned. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, on my social media accounts as well. I'll be announcing it all over the place, so I know you won't miss it. This program is so good. I did videos for every single move so you know exactly what form to follow and how to do the moves right. There's tempos included, rep schemes, set numbers, everything is in this program and you are gonna love it. It will transform your backside in only nine weeks. You are the best. I really appreciate your support watching all of our workout videos and nutrition tips and I hope that you know, some of the things you've learned by watching this channel have gotten you awesome results. So if they have, leave us a comment down below. I would just love to know one thing you've learned from watching our channel. Thanks for tuning in to today's booty work. I'll see you at the next episode. In the meantime, keep living lean.